Welcome back, folks. I am here with Sarah from Maker Studio. Sarah, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Uh, again, uh, we're in this quarantine time, and you're back again to help us uh, with activities to do with your kids or yes. adults who need to occupy. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I think that should be what the segment's called. <laughs> right. Activities for kids or adults who need to occupy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so today we're doing salt dough. Yes. Okay. Yes. What is salt dough? So salt dough is three ingredients. It is flour, salt, and water. Boom. That's it. Easy peasy. Yes. You should have that already in your cabinet. Yes. Um, so I have some already made up. Okay. Um, and we used two cups of flour, one cup of salt, and then you add water as needed to get it to a consistency that's like Play Doh or clay. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to give you your salt dough okay. here. Ooh. Um, La -da and if dee. you. <laughs> da -da. Ooh, you can feel the salt, the yeah. texture. Uh -huh. I'm stimulated by the yeah. texture. <laughs> well, okay. hey, you could just give somebody, you know, raw salt yeah, dough and, and go for it. Go in a town. Yeah. Eat it maybe <laughs> no, don't eat it. Don't eat I it. I mean, you could, but ew. <laughs> yeah, but gross. Okay. Yeah. Um, so if you want, um, if you have a rolling pin, you can use that. If you don't, just use a cup or a bottle. Okay. Um, and you're going to roll it out just like you would do cookies. And you can do lots of different shapes. Um, sometimes if the salt dough is a little too sticky, you can add a little more flour. Um, it kind of looks like a sugar cookie, to be honest yes, with you. Yes, yes. Kind of debating. Please it. don't eat it. <laughs> I'm debating it. It's going through my mind, Sarah. <laughs> and then um, you can roll this out into kind of a, just an organic shape. Yeah. You or know, the flow. if you have cookie cutters, um, we have one here. It's a little chick. Ooh. Um, you can stamp out your own little shapes. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Get a little Let's see. Peep 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 peep. <laughs> Now this is com cookie cutter, completely safe. You shouldn't yes. be able to hurt yourself. You shouldn't be able to hurt yourself. <laughs> we, we put that disclaimer in because, again, folks, you, if you watch the show, you know that things can just go yeah. awry here. Okay. I was mindful, Jordan, when yes. I knew I was coming in here. I have Jordan here. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look how cute. You have your first little chicky there. Little chicky there. Very nice. Well, I'll make another one. You, know, yeah. you should always have a friend. Yeah. You can't leave chickies alone. <laughs> you got to at least have two. So what's cool about these, a lot of times people who know salt dough, they think, about it as Christmas ornaments, but you can do lots of different That's things right. with them. Um, you can just make like little plaques that you can put um, on a shelf. You can make little gift tags. We actually put my cat's paw <laughs> in this Ooh. one, so you could do a baby's hand. Okay, I don't know. I've kids. had cats. <laughs> I've had cats all my life. How did you get the cat to stay still it, for that? Well, my husband kind of held her, and we kind of put her paw in it. I don't have kids, Jordan. I had to get creative here. <laughs> So if your cats are need occupied. Yes, yes. Everybody at this point is going to need yeah. occupied in some, some way. <laughs> um, oh, my goodness. We also made, um, or I also made, these little beads. So if you wanted to kind of, you know, string a necklace or use these on pipe cleaners for kids um, for more, like, hand-eye coordination for the little guys, you could do that. Yeah. Um, it's also fun because you can use Sharpies or acrylic paint to add details to them. Um, so there's really just a lot of things. Mother's Day is coming up here in a few months, so you could do Mother's Day gifts or yeah. aunts, grandmothers, things like that. That's the thing. You can be productive in these times, folks. Yes. You can cross a lot of things off your list. Sarah, thanks again for showing us a really neat craft, something you can do uh, with the ingredients you just have at home. Yes. Uh, if the folks need more ideas and inspirations, how do they find you? Yes. So you can find me on Facebook or Instagram at Maker Studio 814 Alrighty, Sarah, I did not hurt myself this time. Yes. We're, go we're gonna keep <laughs> the tally going right. for each time we have a segment, I don't hurt myself. Sarah, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Folks, we'll be right back after the break.